The arts and communication industry provides a lot of careers that are incredibly important for many companies. Today, we're in Neely, Nebraska to learn about the marketing media agency called Pitcher Digital. Let's check it out. I'm here at Pitcher Digital with Carrie Pitzer, and you are the digital media executive, correct? That's right. So give us a little bit detail about what Pitcher Digital does and then the history of Pitcher Digital. El Pitzer Digital is a media and marketing company based in Neely. Okay. And we have a marketing division and we have a media division. And we started the company with the marketing division. All right. With website de design. Um, we do everything from regional campaigns to right. national campaigns. And then we also have the media side of things where we have four news sites and a newspaper. That's fantastic. Uh, and with so many you know, hats you guys are wearing and so many jobs you're doing, what are some other careers at Pitcher Digital uh, that people are doing right now to help the community and get those products out? We have a graphic designer on staff. Okay. We have uh, several videographers uh, with broadcast majors, and we have new multiple writers. We okay. have a editor in Orchard as well. Are there any of those I could talk to by chance? They are all here. You can talk to any of them to learn more about what they, they do. They are all here. Wonderful. Well, I think we're going to go over to their other location. I'll see who I can talk to. I'm here with Samantha, and you're a graphic designer at Pitcher Digital, correct? Correct. So what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, we make posters, business cards, graphics, logos. Did you make this by chance? I did. You made that? That's awesome. How long did it take? Uh, a couple hours. A couple hours. <laughs> yeah. No big deal. So doing graphic design, what was your inspiration for that? Um, when I was younger, I really liked photography, okay. so we went in, did a bunch of photography stuff. As I got older, I was like, mm, maybe I'll go more graphic yeah. design way. Um, when I was in high school, they offered this other building that we could go to, and we okay. learned more digital multimedia, so I learned video, graphics, and stuff. And I was... That's awesome that you got that look into it in high mm -hmm. school. Did uh, that influence your degree choice at all? Yes. I studied graphic technology at Northern Iowa. Okay. And now you're here. Now I'm here. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, did you have any internships or anything along the way that I, solidified that choice for you? In high school, I had sports photography internship, and that was fun, and I loved it, but yeah. I'm more a designer. <laughs> of course. Uh, what advice would you give a high schooler? Because your, your situation is a little bit different because you had the accelerated program in high school. So what would you tell a high school student to do? I would recommend they start building a portfolio now. Okay. Then you can see the progression and then yeah. as you progress, business owners <laughs> see that you progress right. and it's good. And then uh, degree choice. Does it really matter? Do you need one? Is it preferred? Um, it's preferred. It's not, if you, if you have a portfolio, it's better. Okay. Portfolio is better than any sort of education on top of that. It only improves what it you've improves, done. It improves, yeah. That's awesome. So, what's something I can do while I'm here? Do you have an activity that I, I can learn? I do have an activity back at the other office. Awesome. Well, I think we're going to go follow Samantha and we're going to go learn this new activity. I am back with Samantha and you have something to show me. Yes, this is a banner that we're working on for Agri City Insurance, which okay. is one of our top marketing people that we do stuff for. Right, so uh, what is this gonna be used for? It's a retractable banner, so if they're going out anywhere, if they, anywhere that they see people. Like a, a convention, convention or anything like that, yeah. they're gonna use it? Cool, so what is the process you go through to create this? Well, first we have to figure out what size they want. Okay. And then once that's figured out, we talk to them, see what they want. We prepare a couple drafts, see if they like them. Yeah. If they don't like them, we try again, <laughs> but and then we keep working until we get the final product. Yeah, outside of the technical side of just straight up dimensions and math, are you do you have your free reign to do sort of your creativity on it after yep. that? Basically, they, they kind of give us an idea of what they want, and then right. we just morph it to what works. That's awesome. That's awesome. Do you have an example of some of the work you guys have done or something that's similar uh, to this? We have this smaller retractable poster. Ah, but just one of those. And this is gonna yeah, be except a lot bigger. A lot bigger. Yeah. That's awesome. Is it, is it fulfilling to see your work out? Yeah, you run around, you'll see that. It's awesome, it's really cool. I'm sure it'd be really rewarding. Well, Samantha, thank you so much. Thank you. Those are some of the careers here at Pitcher Digital, and more specifically, graphic design. We're exploring careers in arts, communication, and AV. 
Now, whether it's our phones, internet, TV, we all want it newer, better, faster, right? You wouldn't think of Western Nebraska as a place that's pushing technology forward, but right here in Imperial, there's a company that's bringing newer, better, faster communication right to your doorstep. It's called Allo. She is the Vice President of Customer Operations and her name is Allison. She works here at Allo. Uh, tell us what Allo does. Allo provides phone, internet, and TV service to people mainly in western Nebraska, um, but we also have started offering service in Lincoln. Nice. And uh, as the Vice President of Customer Operations, what do you do? So I manage the people and processes that help provide that exceptional customer service. There you go. And so customer service forms around two main lines, I think. Right. So to begin with, it's customers calling in, asking a question. Um, why is your service better? Can I get your service? So there's customer service involved there. After they have our service, if they happen to have issues or they want to have additional um, items that we offer, such maybe they have TV and now they want internet, something like that, there's customer service involved there. Now your job is training and developing customer service reps. You also have to deal with uh, some of the problems that come up that get bumped up the chain to you. What are right. some of the skill sets you need to do your job? So you need to be, um, problem solving is probably one of the main things, mm -hmm. and being able to think quickly on your feet when there's an issue. You also have to have attention to detail. There you go. We deal a lot with telephone numbers, and so there's, we have, we have spreadsheets, we have telephone numbers, or IP addresses, there's a lot of detail Jeez. involved in this business. I think I know two telephone numbers. <laughs> so uh, you have a degree in finance from UNL, but that's really not what led you here. Tell us about the journey to get to your role now. Sure. So after I graduated from the university, I moved to Kansas City and I worked at a fund accounting firm and then at a law firm as a financial analyst and moved back to Western Nebraska to be closer to family. And when I started at Allo, there were probably about 10 people uh, working here at the time. And um, when I came into the role to begin with, I was doing customer service, so taking phone calls. Um, I then moved into an office manager position. From there, we started doing fiber to the home, um, and from that, the job just really developed it. You know, each market changed a little bit. There you go. So what's your favorite part of the job for you personally? You know, I like working uh, with people, I like working internally with people, I like working with customers, um, solving problems. Hmm. There you go. Well, Allison, thank you so much. It was great thank to you. meet you. You too. And I'm thankful for Allo. They're keeping Nebraska wired in. We're on our last stop talking about arts, communication, and AV. We're in the heart of Nebraska, Axel, where they're bringing local news to local people. This is NTV, where your news comes first. I'm here with Vince Baresi. He's the general manager for NTV and KFXL Fox Nebraska. Vince, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. It's a pleasure having so you. So what does NTV do? NTV broadcasts television programs. Yeah. I mean, it's that simple. Uh, we're the ABC affiliate, Central and Western Nebraska. Uh, huge area from about York all the way to the Colorado border. Uh, and then we also operate, or I operate on the KFXL side, you know, Fox mm -hmm. all the way from Lincoln okay. to the uh, uh, Colorado border. So you guys are responsible for all the local news and how I figure out who won the state championship, right? Uh, that is correct. We're, we're, localism is our key. Yeah. The network programs, uh, that's really controlled by the network and it is a, uh, and the term is apropos because the same programs are airing on all the ABC mm -hmm. affiliates around the country. What makes us different and unique is our localism, the stories that we cover here. How do we make our community more well-informed? How do we make the community a better place in which to live, a better place in which for, for parents to raise their children? That's what we're all about. That's our, that's our most important mission. And that is amazing. I would love to learn more about some of the careers here. Can you introduce me to someone? Uh, but you know what? I think Ify, one of our reporters, multimedia journalist is, is a correct title, you will find absolutely fascinating and wait till you hear her story. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Vince. Thank you.
This is Ifisanachi Ibo Simba, but we're pretty tight, so I call her Ify. <laughs> Ify, great to meet you. Hey, good to meet you. What is it that you do here? Well, so right now I'm a, an MMJ, stands for Multimedia Journalist. And basically that means you're doing everything on your own. You may have heard the term one man band. So I'm doing all my research. I shoot everything by myself. I write, edit, and then I'm the one who presents the story. So, so you're not a one trick pony. You got the whole <laughs> skill set. <laughs> yes, I have a lot of different yeah. skills. and. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. There's a okay. lot of different okay. skills that go into it. Have you always known that you wanted to be on camera or did that just kind of happen? Oh gosh, no, I didn't actually. I definitely knew that I wanted to do something with journalism. In high school, I was on our newspaper staff and so that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. Um, but no, I thought I wanted to do okay. print. I thought I okay. was gonna be a it's newspaper, totally like doing the beats, like, I don't, you know, just mm -hmm. the newspaper mm -hmm. grind. But somewhere along the line that really changed for me, I have a passion for television. And, you know, being able to combine my love for journalism and TV, it's just... Because nobody reads anymore, right? Well, <laughs> no, people need oh. to read. Make sure you're reading. <laughs> No, people definitely need to be reading. Um, I still read the newspaper. I love print journalism. It's it's truly an art. I love it. But being able to combine TV and you know my love for journalism, it's so. What was the awesome. education path that you took to get here? Right. So um, high school, I was taking journalism classes, and that led to me majoring in media and communications in college. And while I was in college, I tried to make sure I was really involved so you know campus newspaper at school every semester I was challenging myself to um, do a different internship so when I would come home for the summer I interned at our local news station and that was a lot of fun I mean there's nothing yeah. like getting that hands-on experience and when I was at school I you know like I said I have a love for mm -hmm. television so I went to BT and I interned with their live show 106 in Park it's like That's TRL awesome. their music countdown yeah. show so I'm getting to work with you know senior producers people have been in the industry for so long and just learn from them about how TV works you know I was at the Wendy Williams show for a semester learning mm -hmm. from them I was at VH1 so I really just wanted to make sure that I had a really broad understanding yeah. of yeah. this industry Yeah, you got a lot of good experience outside of college but yes. what does your typical day look like here oh gosh there is no typical day yeah. <laughs> A little it's different every day. Different. Exactly. Yeah. It's different every day. I mean, your day starts early in the morning. I'm, I'm a day side reporter, so I come in around 10 o'clock and I leave around 7 after our 6.30 show. Um, so my typical day, it starts really early in the morning doing research, making phone calls to people, trying to set up interviews. Um, really, it starts the night before. Yeah. You're, you've got, you really have to have your hand on the pulse of the news. And You're trying it. to find that hot story before it hits Facebook. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. That's it. So, you know, you have to stay in contact with people in the community. You are, you know, you're just always mm -hmm. working those contacts yeah. and trying to get your story going. Yeah. And like you said, you have to be talented in a lot of skill sets. Do you think you can show me one of these? Oh, gosh. Uh, yes, I can. If you're ready to look some gear, though. Oh, always. All right. Let's go. All right, welcome back, you guys. We're outside. We've got our gear set up. We've got our camera, our light, and our trusty microphone, of course. So we're ready to do a live shot. All right, and it is a beautiful day outside. Oh my gosh, But that's yes. not always the case because Nebraska is pretty unpredictable. It really is. I mean, you couldn't ask yeah. for a better day, but yeah. you're right, rain, shine, snow, ice, we have to be out here no matter what the conditions yeah. are. And we're all set up. But there's a lot of research that goes into this beforehand, right? Absolutely. This being on camera, that is the smallest, smallest part of our eight hour day. Yeah. So, you know, all day you're making phone calls, you're doing research, you are getting your story, then you're writing, you're editing, and then you arrive at this moment. All right. <laughs> so we're here, we're about to go live. What's next? All right. So normally what I would do is get a really good mic check. Um, hopefully everything is working with our equipment, no technical mm -hmm. difficulties. Then I would put in my IFB. This is just a little earpiece that allows me to hear the producer and the show. So I connect my IFB to my cell phone, dial into the control room, and then I'm ready to go. All right. So we'll get rid of this for now, though. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so then I would be ready to do my live report. Okay. 
There we go. All right, this is pretty sacred ground right here. <laughs> so, my skills, where do I need to keep this thing? Yeah, absolutely. So I always tell people, oh, you here? don't, you, no? yeah, no, you, Up you here? don't want to eat it. Okay. Don't want it to be too, too low. low. Yeah, right just, in the bread basket. Yes, perfect. All right. You got it. Okay, I think I got this. <laughs> so, they're going to pitch to me live. Yes. And I'm going to say, good evening, this is Brennan Burling, reporting live from Axtell. I'm here with Iffy. Iffy, what's the best part of living in Nebraska? You know, I'd have to say my favorite part about being in Nebraska is getting to see all the amazing fields and watching the crops grow and witnessing agriculture happen. That's great. Back to you in the studio. How'd I do? That was perfect. All right. Good job, man. Well, you might you. be coming for my job. I need to watch Maybe. out. Maybe. <laughs> you better look out. Hey, thank you so much. It's good to meet you. I'm at NTV, where your news comes first. <laughs>